What's up, y'all? Welcome back. So it looks like Kanye West and Kim Kardashian are going through the typical divorce struggle. So we know they've been about on, 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 on the edge of divorce for many, 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 many months, maybe even years to this point now. But now it's starting to heat up on social media, right? So now Kanye is tweeting how he wants to have a lawyer or something like that because he doesn't like his daughter being on TikTok at eight years old. Now, I have no objections to that if you're a father <coughs> and your daughter is a child and you don't want her on tiktok who am i to say no let her be on tiktok but it's not my kid you if that's if that's how kanye feels how he feels he wants to on tiktok right but then he took it to social media that's why it's a big story right so he's been throwing little digs out there kim kardashian over the past couple you know pete davidson beat him up in a new song he dropped Academics said that he was running around the industry promoting um, that Pete Davis had AIDS, and he said, you can put me on the stand. I'll call the eight industry people up that told me about it. Because I seen some guy tweeting like, TMZ is running interference for Kim Kardashian. Now they want to try to act like Kanye said that Pete Davis had AIDS. No, that came from academics. And TMZ just happened to pick that up. But it came from academics, and he's claiming that that is a very true statement. And if you look at the tweet academics just tweeted about this controversy I'm going to talk about, he says he believes Kanye. So in my mind, there's no bias with him even releasing that statement. Right? And he's hip-hop platform. Why would he have any here or there for Kim Kardashian? So Kim Kardashian did respond. She said, Kanye's constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. As a parent who is the main provider <clears throat> and caregiver for our children, I'm doing my best to protect our daughter while also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision. So she has a TikTok. It's Kim and North. It's not just like North, but you know, North is on there. I went to TikTok because I want to see like, okay, what is Kanye looking at on here that might, you know, disturb him? To me, when you watch it, it's a bunch of little kid shit that they're doing some TikTok she has with Kim, some just by herself doing like whatever little goofy kid meme whatever's popular on tiktok type thing shading up there like when you see people get posted on the shade room they got their kids twerking they got their kids doing that it's none of that just in my eyes harmless little kid shit now would i want my eight-year-old on tiktok probably not, even with a dose of vision no i don't because there's a lot of weirdos out there it's not to say that we don't already know what north looks like there's probably paparazzi following north around but now it's just added exposure like i said i'm not really here to debate if Kanye should be able to say if he wants his kid on TikTok or not, that's his child. So because it brings her happiness, that's what Kim said. That's why she has her on TikTok with adult supervision. That's why it's Kim and North. Divorce is difficult enough on our children and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and publicly is only causing further pain for all. From the beginning, I have wanted nothing but a healthy and supportive co-parenting relationship because it is what it is best for our children. And it saddens me that Kanye continues to make it impossible every step of the way. I wish to handle all matters regarding our children privately, and hopefully he could finally respond to the third attorney he has had in the last year to resolve any issues amicably. So the thing the thing that's smart, like this is how I look at it, right? This is what Kanye does. He airs shit out publicly. It's album rollout time, or it's, you know, new Yeezy collab rollout time. He's dropping Donda, what, in two weeks from now? This is how I look at it, right? And this could be naive, but that's uh, some album shit's about to happen. And any attention for Kanye, personal, conflict, conflicting, whatever, is good publicity, especially in this situation, because to me, the way he's playing this is a slam dunk in his favor. He knows that black people on social media I already don't fuck with the Kardashians. They like Kanye. Even though Kanye says some wild shit, if we had to pick the two, most people are going to pick Kanye over Kim. So him continuing to blast the Kim on social media, he knows he's going to have social media on his side when it comes to him versus Kim Kardashian. Right? That's, this is how I look at it. So then Kanye posted, after she posted that, Kanye posted this uh, picture with the family. It says, what do you mean by main provider? question mark america saw you try to kidnap my daughter on her birthday by not providing me the address uh you put security on me inside of the house to play with my son then accused me of stealing i had to take a drug test after chicago's party because you accused me of being on drugs tracy romulius stopped me eliminating kim to be this way so he's i think he's brought that name up a couple i think even in the drinks champs interview he said that you know his wife has people around him that are you know getting into her head, doing things and manipulating situations, right? So 
when it comes to the to the birthday party for his daughter, and I hope to never be in a divorce situation with my wife and kids and things of that nature, because I'm sure it gets nasty. But I mean, maybe at the time Kim was like, I just don't want you like maybe, you know, this is how I look at it. I'm trying to really gather my thoughts here. If Kim is keeping his kids away from him, I think that's wrong. If Kim is not wanting to be with her kids with Kanye at the same time, I can understand that, especially if you keep airing me out in public. If someone kept airing me out in public, I don't want to be around you with my kids. Uh, now, if the security shit's true, that's kind of crazy. That is not even kind of, that's crazy. Uh, but if I want you to just, if you want to have the kids, you can have them for the weekend. Y'all do your own birthday party. Y'all do what y'all want to do over there. If Kim's not allowed to do that, then I think, you know, that's a little backwards. But my main thing with this situation is, I think Kanye is using this situ this family turmoil for an album rollout. He's get because like I said, little do y'all know what perception is everything when it comes to music music sales. If your perception at the time of album release is high, you will sell well. If it is not, you will not sell well because in today's day and age, music seems to be secondary to personality personality is what pushes people and then the music is just there and they'll listen to it because it's cool to listen to i don't think and this is just to bring it to a, 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 a um a comparison i don't think that gunner's album is a hundred and however many he sold better than a roddy rich album but at the time gunner was doing everything in preparation for album rollout that made people gunner's cool push and pee is cool I want to support this. I want to do this. I want to do that. And this is just me. Because like I said, however you feel about the albums, that's how you feel. I'm talking about how I feel about them. I don't think it's 66,000 Ferrari, 100 and whatever the fuck it was, 50 or 40 for a gunner. Like that amount of album sales in between is like, oh, this is so much better. No, I don't think so. I think it has to do with marketing, perception, and that's what leads up to great album sales for these artists. You saw it with the Nicki Minaj hate train. Like everybody hated Nicki Minaj. Shit wasn't going good. For her, the music was still good. But the perception was bad. Then you see the lack of sales in that manner as well. So I, I just I just I, I just don't want this to be another one of those Kanye West situations where Kanye West comes out of his mouth. He's saying this hey, like the same thing with Beyonce and Jay-Z. Like, oh, Jay-Z, don't bring people on me. Don't do this. But then after the album's out or after the shoe sales are over, then it's like, you know, you know what? I'm going to go on Instagram. Kim is the greatest mother that my kids could ever have. I love her. I love her. I love her. Yada, yada, yada. I just hope that he isn't using this situation that could honestly probably be handled behind closed doors as a album rollout. Because at the end of the day, that's nasty. To use your to use family turmoil as a means for album promotion, album rollout, to me, that is nasty. But like I said, there's two sides to the story. If everything Kanye is saying here is correct, you put security on me inside the house to play with my son. If Kanye live across the street and he's at home and he want to see his kids, he should be able to see his kids. Now, I don't know what they know because, like I said, we act like to know like we know these people. We know Kim, we love Kim. Kanye's a piece of shit. We love Kanye. Kim's a, like, we don't know these people. They were married for however long they've been married. They know each other. They know what's going on in the mental game. They know what's going on in the physical game. They know what's going on. So I just... In this situation, <coughs> I get the TikTok shit. Kanye, um, he's a man. It's his, it's his daughter. He don't want on TikTok. Even if you're in adult supervision, I thought like you should take his his um his concerns seriously. But I don't think you should be publicly blasting your family every single chance that you get. I just don't think that's a I don't think that's a recipe for, you know. A good outcome and whatever outcome that comes from them getting divorced custody hearings whatever i don't think that's a good outcome right it just it just doesn't feel that way it doesn't look that way so uh i mean that's all i really got like it's just a, it's just a wild situation i'm not on kanye said i'm not on kim's side they both have valid points valid reasoning kanye west blast and kim it feels like an album rollout to me because i'll tell you after the album's eyes oh my you know kim's the greatest mom in the world I mean, do that, yada, yada, yada. He's setting little traps here and there. Kim, they trying to make, she doing shit behind the scenes. And it, and it be it, and it's honestly easier just in social view to think that Kim Kardashian is the victim here. 
Like it's easier to believe that because we don't really hear her saying anything about it, right? We don't we don't hear her coming out against Kanye. The only thing I hear her say about Kanye and his relationship was like, I'd rather him be dating a person that's a fan than a hater. And also, he she also said, why is he running around to all these blogs and all these interviews saying that he wants to be a family while he's living with his 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 new girlfriend? Like, I don't these things don't correlate. Like to the public, he's one thing, but behind closed doors, it's another. I mean, we've seen that publicly. He was running around with some chick, but he was saying, "I want my wife back." But you know, it, it's it's when you, when you get into that family domestic drama. It's very multi-layered. There's probably a lot of miscommunication going on in that household. It's probably a lot of ego going on. We got two billionaires, a lot of ego going on in that household. Because you see, out of everything she said, what really struck Kanye was main, provi- main provider. She said a whole list of shit. But the thing that triggered Kanye in that situation was him, her saying, I'm their main provider. So, um, you know... We'll see what happens with this whole situation. Let me know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is Kim a witch keeping the kids away from Kanye? Or is Kanye, you know, doing too much and potentially using this moment for an album? Well, I'm sure I'm going to have a, a wide ranging of opinions, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. See you guys next time. It's your boy, friend. Peace.